Greetings, Cosmic Voyagers. I am Sage Qantas, your guide through the labyrinth of existence. Today, we delve into the concept of the induced transition, a state that can either be a pitfall or a transformative catalyst, depending on how you navigate it. This video aims to equip you with the knowledge and tools to turn these challenging periods into opportunities for growth. Subscribe now to ensure you don't miss out on this transformative journey, as this is just one chapter in a comprehensive course that will span several videos. The Neurobiology of Stress and Decision Making before we dive into the concept itself, let's explore the neurobiology of stress and decision making. When humans experience stress, the brain releases cortisol, a hormone that prepares the body for a fight or flight response. While this is beneficial in short bursts, Chronic stress can impair cognitive functions like decision-making and problem-solving. This biological response can make the induced transition a challenging period but also provides clues on how to navigate it effectively. What is the induced transition? The induced transition is a state characterized by negative energy flow, often triggered by external pressures or internal conflicts. It's like finding yourself in a cosmic storm where your usual points of reference are obscured and your life track seems to be spiraling downwards. However, this state is not a dead end it's a crossroads offering the potential for transformation and growth. The Role of Pendulums Pendulums play a significant role in inducing transitions. These energetic structures can exert pressure on individuals, pushing them into states of imbalance. Recognizing the influence of pendulums is the first step in regaining control during an induced transition. Real Life Applications and Implications Consider a scenario where you've lost your job. This event can trigger an induced transition marked by stress, anxiety, and uncertainty. However, it's also an opportunity to reassess your career path, perhaps even align more closely with your soul freely. It's a chance to reset your life's compass. Practical Techniques for Navigating the Induced Transition 1. Self-Awareness Recognize the signs of an induced transition. Are you feeling stressed, anxious, or overwhelmed? Acknowledgement is the first step. 2. Disengage from negative pendulums. Identify the pendulums that are contributing to your negative state and consciously disengage from them. 3. Realign with your soul freely. Use this period to reassess your goals and desires. What truly resonates with your inner self? 4. The Feedback Loop Exercise Identify the stressor, what's causing your negative state. Take a positive action, counteract the stressor with a positive action. Observe your emotional response, did the action make you feel better? Repeat, if yes. Continue with similar actions to create a positive feedback loop. Neurobiological and Psychological Details When you engage in this feedback loop, you're essentially reprogramming your brain. You're reducing the production of stress hormones like cortisol and increasing the release of positive neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin. 
This not only improves your emotional state, but also enhances your cognitive functions, making it easier to navigate the complexities of the induced transition. The induced transition is not a state to be feared, but to be understood and navigated. With the insights and practical techniques provided in this video, you are now equipped to turn these challenging periods into transformative opportunities. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey through the induced transition. This is just one chapter in a comprehensive course that will span several videos. To ensure you don't miss any of this transformative content, please subscribe to our channel. In resonance and eternity, until we meet again.